Hi folks, I'm really excited to share with you a revelation on how to print super strong but lightweight fuselages using lightweight PLA on my 3D printer. I recently visited the aeronautical engineer in the family on a trip to New Zealand. He had made a very lightweight RC electric glider with a 3D printed fuselage. This only came to about 70 grams using a 300 million power 1S battery and I thought, how could this be so light? Well, it turns out he'd been printing it with a thickness of about 25 millimeters with 5% sparse infill. This gives you a very strong double skin printed fuselage. Up till now, I've been printing my fuselages with a thickness of about 0.8-0.5 millimeters, but this has caused me some problems with delamination, especially around hatches. I couldn't wait to return to Australia to try this printing method out on some of my existing planes like my Photography Lark and my Ghost Moth. These are the changes that I made to my Mark VI Lark. Well, I printed it using the double skin method, using 2.5mm thickness and 5% infill using eSun Active Lightweight PLA. I incorporated a nice little camera mount into the design so it was easy just to slip the camera in and out and it also retracts it a bit more into the fuselage to be more streamlined. I removed the printed servo mount and just put a lightweight foam servo mount on there just to save a bit of weight. And I replaced the tailplane plug-ins with just the slot to fit the tailplane through to reduce the tail weight. And of course I used my springy undercarriage. Here's the updated Mark VI Lark design in FreeCAD using 2.5mm wall thickness. And here are the settings I used in the bamboo slicer to give thin walls and very sparse infill. This picture shows a close-up of the double skin walls and here's the midsection printing and time lapse. The weights of each section came out as follows. The nose was 8 grams, the midsection was 22 grams, and the tail came in at 11 grams with a total of 41 grams. I assembled the new Lark, taking all the parts from the previous model. The fuselage weight when it was completed came to 82 grams, and the total weight was 106 grams. This 300 mAh 2S battery added 20 grams. The camera and mount came to 22 grams, and the 180 mAh battery that I used for the camera came to 6 grams. Total flying weight, 154 grams. And here it is, ready for its maiden flight. In addition to reprinting my Lark Mark VI, I decided to adapt the design for the Ghost Moth for the double skin method. I've printed out the fuselage and it's come out really strong, but still very light. When my single skin version cracks up, I'll replace it with this version. I'm now here at Mullum Mullum, ready to test fly my Lark Mark VI. Right, we've got the battery on board, let's see if it flies. Flies really well with the camera on it. Whoa, down safe. I'm happy with that main flight. Coffee break time and Mullum Mullum management shouted us morning tea for our last flying day of the year. We're now flying in a clockwise direction. Let's see how it puts it on the field with the other planes. Flying speed seems to be somewhat comparable with the other planes, which is important for aerial photography. Well, I survived that in one piece. It seems to be flying nice and steadily, good for the camera. Let's see what it looks like from the plane's point of view.
As a little added extra, I was doing some flight testing in the park recently with my other models, and I decided to give the Mark VI Lark an outdoor test with the camera. So here's some shots on a glorious morning in Melbourne with the Lark Mark VI and the camera. At this point, the tiny battery that I was using to power the camera gave up, so next time I'll have to use a bigger battery. So, what are my conclusions for this printing method? The Mark VI Lark, with its double skin printing method, weighs virtually the same, but seems to be a lot stronger, especially around the hatches, which I needed to reinforce before, but now they're nice and thick and strong. There's been no sign of cracking at this stage or delamination, but I haven't crashed it into anything yet. So time will tell if this printing method proves to be resilient. What's coming up? Well, I have a new revelation for you very soon. It's around a new tiny 10,000 kV brushless motor that I used to convert my Mark II foamy glider back to 1S. And finally, I've made some really good progress on my Mosquito World War II bomber using the double skin 3D printing method on the fuselage. I have a flying version, which I flew in the park just recently, and early indications are that it's gonna be a great flyer. This is quite a complex build, so I'm building it in stages, hence the prototype build, just to see how it would go. And that's it for this video. As usual, if you'd like to track my progress with my projects, consider subscribing to Dave's Fun RC, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.